on the question of whether or not uh, the dream of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has been fulfilled, I, I think most knowledgeable and truly objective observers would have to say no. We are still living in a society, an American society, that is colored by race, by class, uh, discolored by politics, and increasingly by religion. And, and this is truly an irony because uh, most Americans view themselves and they view uh, America as a, a society where people have a very deep feeling and empathy toward religion and, and toward religious value. But the fact of the matter is, given the weight of ugly politics and how they, uh, these politics have been able to override religious value, um, given the extent to which capitalism has been, over, has been able to override religious value, and you have this, this severe disconnect uh, where, you know, religious values are pushed off into a corner. Again, one has to, uh, one is forced to come to the conclusion that we are living still in a very um, disconnected society uh, where fairness, this is something that uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. strove for, fairness on the economic plane, so, uh, fairness on the societal plane, on, on the social plane, um, fairness in, in, in terms of how we treat each other with, with a sense of, uh, uh, you know, I am my brother's keeper type of value. Uh, we're, we're farther away from that today uh, in, in, in many respects than we were when he was walking uh, on this earth and, and championed uh, this fall. Um, and it's truly ironic that we have today at the helm of the United States of America an African-American president where this disconnect, and he's not responsible for it. I want to make very clear that he is not solely or even chiefly responsible for it, but he is the chief executive at the helm of, of a country that has global influence uh, that is largely responsible for the distortion of, of these values in the global community. So uh, with, with that irony uh, being in place as it is, um, on this day, I should think that uh, most of us uh, who are reflecting on the life and legacy of Dr. King, um, we should uh, be in a, in a deep state of introspection uh, over these contradictions that still exist in the society decades after his passing. Uh, the dream, again, is, is still unfulfilled.